this here is the lower tang assembly disassembled So what I'm going to do first is insert this small spring into the top of the trigger then take the sear there's a little dimple right there that the top of the spring rides in so set the top of the spring in that dimple and push it together now this pin right here goes through the lower tang through the sear and trigger. This gets tricky. You have to have a lot of patience. I made a little pin the same width as the trigger and I set this pin right in there and it holds it together for you. Now you got to have a lot of patience here because it takes quite a few tries before you get this in. So you can see my little jig right there that holds everybody together. And we're going to set it right in here. And then if we're lucky, we'll slide the pin in and push our jig pin out, if we're lucky. This takes the patience of Job right here. Let's see if we're lined up on the other side there. That looks good. going in you see my jig pin fell out there. I'm just going to get this side lined up. There we go. Now without this little jig pin you'll have to make one. Get you a brass punch like that. Try to get one uh, with a closer diameter to the to the hole right there. This one's a little bit smaller and it, it makes it a little bit more difficult to line up. But cut it off and that what that pin does is holds the spring and the sear and the trigger together while you're trying to put it into the lower tang. If you didn't have that jig pin there is no way you could get your fingers down in there and work it all in with that spring in there. The spring is what makes it difficult. The spring wants to push the sear and the trigger apart. This next part is uh, it's a little bit tricky too. Right up here is the tail of the sear. 
the tail of the sear needs to sit up under this spring. That's real easy to forget to do that, but it's very important that it sit underneath of the spring. The first thing you need to do is to install the trigger stop safety. And that goes right here. There's two holes. Here's the button. Here's the safety. There's two holes for that. You set it right down in there. You can see it comes through the holes. You take your spring. Make sure that the sear is underneath the tip of that spring. If it's not underneath the tip of that spring, when you drive this pin through, you'll have to start over. Just so close. There we go. Make sure that your sear is underneath this spring before you drive that pin down. Let's get some support here. We'll start to drive the pin in. push the spring down. The pin goes through the valley of the spring. You have to push that pin down with your thumb while you're hammering. Okay. Now, we got the pin riding over the spring in the valley. We want to drive that same pin through a hole in the back of the trigger stop safety. You want to keep keep all that lined up. Let's go look, see how we're doing. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit tricky because trigger stop safety wants to keep popping out. There, I think we got it. real close now. Excellent. Okay, you can see there, when I pull the trigger, the sear, the tail end of the sear pushes up on that spring steel. Can you see it in there? I get it. Right there it is. your spring and there's the tail end of the sear right there that same spring pushes down on the trigger stop safety okay both are functioning well Now what we're going to do is install the hammer spring onto the hammer spring strut. We have to compress the spring onto the hammer spring strut and after we get it compressed there's a hole right here that we're going to take this small screwdriver and set into that hole 
and that small screwdriver is going to hold the compressed spring onto the hammer spring strut. It's not an easy thing to do and it usually takes me a couple of times to get it right. Uh, one thing we do need to be concerned with when we insert our screwdriver. We want our screwdriver to come in from this direction right here. We have this elbow right here pointing down and we want the screwdriver to come in from this direction. Okay, let's see if we can get it. Uh, one thing I do use is a pair of pliers to compress that spring. It gives me enough leverage to push that spring down. So here we're going to put the spring on the hammer spring strut. And now, let me get this turned the right way so I can insert that screwdriver. We want, let me take this back off, we want our pliers so that they come in from here so they don't interfere with that hammer spring strut. We don't want to come in like this. We want to come in like this. Okay. Here we go. I get just a little bit of a gap. Let me get up so I can get some leverage here. Compress that just a little bit. A little bit more. Okay, we're going in with the screwdriver. Oh, there we go. That's how it usually works. Let's try it again. Get started. Took two times that time. It usually takes me three or four. So now that screwdriver is holding that compressed spring onto the hammer spring strut. We can take our pliers out now. That spring will go forward into the hammer spring strut. There we go. You want you pretty good. Uh, you want to put a you want to use a pretty good uh, strength screw driver or a nail or whatever you use. It has to be pretty good strength because when you separate that, that set of pliers, you don't want this to bend. You don't want that screwdriver or nail or whatever you use to bend. Okay. Now, let's see if we can get it installed into the lower tank. We have this part right here and uh, let me explain to you why we come in from this side. There's a couple of ways to install this hammer spring strut but it only works one way. We can put it in that way so that the elbow is going up but that won't work. Your rebounding hammer will not rebound and you'll probably have light strikes on the primer when the ha because it won't have enough spring tension to push the hammer forward. So this elbow right here, let me get this up where you can see it. This elbow needs to be pointing down. So you come up over here and you go down into the lower tank. That's the correct orientation. So, let's get our hammer forward. There's two grooves that the hammer spring strut rides in. This is the top groove and this is the bottom groove. That tang, that upper tang and that lower tang of the hammer strut safety rides in those grooves. Okay, so 
let me get this back out a little bit don't take it all the way out but we need to clear the floor of the lower tank so let's just back it up a little bit let's set that in there now we get push the hammer back so that it engages the uh, tangs of the hammer strut hammer spring strut now let me take that back off I don't know if I got a good video of that let me take that back off and I'll do it again take the back end of the hammer spring strut and set it into this place right here okay can't get oriented correctly in the camera so you can see it so now we're engaged back here we want to push the hammer back so it engages the front end of the hammer strut okay now we can pull this out just like that That's the reassembly of the lower tang assembly. I don't like to do that. It's a bear. <laughs> That's a grizzly bear having to do that. So normally when I disassemble my rifle, I leave this part alone. 